guys welcome to KK Java tutorials uh, in this video we will talk and learn about JUnit 5 architecture yeah so let's stop uh, JUnit 5 is mainly built on the below three uh, components or projects uh, JUnit platform JUnit Jupyter and JUnit Vintage yeah uh, when we uh, when we talk about the uh, JUnit 5 has a three uh, sub projects or components that means we can say that JUnit 5 equals to JUnit platform plus JUnit Jupyter plus JUnit vintage yeah let's try to understand these three components one by one so let's first talk about the JUnit platform uh, to execute or launch JUnit test cases uh, build tools IDs and plugins required to include and extend uh, platform APIs uh, it provides test engine APIs to develop new testing frameworks that runs on the platform. Additionally, it also provides console launcher to launch the platform from the command line and build plugins for building tool like uh, Gradle and Mami. Yeah, that's uh, all about the JUnit uh, platform. Now, when we talk about the JUnit uh, vintage. Uh, then i would like to add over here it has a main purpose to support running jmnet 3 and 4 written test on the jmnet 5 platform it provides assurance for the backward compatibility so let's say if you have if you would have written some uh, old test cases in jmnet 3 or 5 and that you want to run on the jmnet 5 platform so that is also possible and that's what uh, support provided by the jmnet vintage yeah now last but not the least we'll talk about the JUnit Jupyter. Uh, it is the combination of new programming model and extension model for writing uh, test and executions in JUnit 5. It has newly added annotations for running Jupyter based test on the platform. So if someone is talking about the JUnit Jupyter then indirectly he or she is talking about the JUnit 5 that you have to keep in mind. Yeah. So when we talk about the building the platform, uh, testing platform, then uh, you can have a combination of uh, uh, these three, right? Like JUnit uh, Vintage that supports uh, JUnit written in, in the JUnit 3 or 4 uh, on the JUnit 5 platform. If you want to uh, write the JUnit uh, 5 based uh, test cases only, then Jupyter is there for support. And if you want to integrate third party, uh, basically, uh, uh, testing support, then that is also possible in JNIT, uh, JNIT 5 platform. Yeah. So, and uh, of course, all the IDs like Eclipse, IntelliJ, NetBeans has a support uh, to run your JNIT test cases that will provide the very nice uh, test report in uh, basically different color mode. And if you are using uh, like build automation tool like Maven or Gradle, right? Uh, then uh, you can add some kind of plugin in this uh, uh, basically build tool and that will uh, give you the uh, generated generated test report uh, in the HTML format and your desired format basically right so that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys I hope you enjoy learning this video guys if you really like this video then hit on the like button uh, and uh, before leaving I would like to request you if you did not subscribe KK Java tutorial till here then please go ahead and subscribe thank you